In this video, I'm going to go over an in-depth tutorial on data validation in Excel. As always, if this helps you out, then drop me a sub and let's get into it. So data validation is where you can set up certain rules and restrictions in Excel, and this is going to affect the data that you have in your cells. By having these rules and restrictions, your data is going to be more accurate and consistent. There are several different types of data validation options, and I'm going to cover all of them in this video. The first validation I'll talk about is the whole number validation. This is where you can set a range of cells to where only whole numbers are allowed. So in my Excel sheet here, I have the sales data, and if I wanted to create a column in E where I want to show how many units were sold, I can use the whole number validation method. I'm going to highlight cells E2 through E21, and then go up into the data tab, and then select data validation. Under Allow, I'm going to select Whole Number. And in this dropdown below, I can specify if I want my number to be in a certain range. I'm going to do between 0 and 500. And I'll hit OK. For the column header, I'm going to call it Units. Now, if I enter a proper unit count, for example, 12, it's going to let me but if I put in a unit count with a decimal place, for example, 12.5, it's not going to let me. And that makes sense, because units sold should be whole numbers and not decimals, and that's why the error message shows up. The next data validation method is the decimal method. This is just Excel making sure that the value being entered is a decimal and within a certain range. So if I want to create a column in column F where we show the product reviews, I can do that. The customer should be able to rate the product between 0 and 5, and decimals are allowed. So I'm going to select cells F2 through F21. I'll go up into data validation, and then I'm going to select decimal. For my drop down, I'm going to select between 0, 0.00 and then 5, and then I'll hit OK. For my column header, I'm going to call it product review. Now, if I enter a value like 3.4, it's going to work because it's a decimal and it's within my range. But when I enter a value like 5.5, it's not going to work because I have a ceiling set at 5, and that's why the error message shows up. The third data validation method is creating a list of predefined values that your user can pick from. If you want to sell where the user doesn't have the ability to write something down, but instead they can only pick from a few values, you can do that here. So to do that, I'm going to select cell G2. I'll go up into data validation. For my dropdown, I'll select list. And in the source, I'm going to write yes, comma, no, because I only want these two options to show up. I only want them to pick between a yes or a no. You can also link some cells here if you have a list of cells somewhere in your document that you want the user to pick from. I'm going to keep it just like this, and I'm going to hit OK. And then for my column header, I'll call it Customer Satisfaction. I'll go ahead and drag these down so it's copied down. And then you can see how when you click the drop down, you can only select between a yes and a no. The date and time validations work in the same way as when I selected those between values earlier. I can go up into data validation and then select date. And you can see how you have the same options to select the start date and the end date. And if I select time, the same options will show. So if you have a range of cells with either times or dates, you can use these validation options to make sure that only certain values are passed through. And then the last data validation method is setting a text length minimum and maximum on cells. When in data validation, if I select text length in the first dropdown, it gives me the option to select a minimum or maximum based on what I prefer. And that's pretty much data validation in a nutshell. If this helped you, then please do subscribe for more easy how-to videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.